Okay, so I'm going to take you how, <clears throat> through how I record our full batch of videos. It's going to be live. Um, I think I have about 20 to do right now, so they're on the board. Um, you're going to hear clapping because that's going to be where I edit. So this is just a quick introduction. Like the first one would be Hell Riders. So it's going to be Hell Riders and action. Clap, go, clap at then so I know where to cut. Usually I will keep just recording a new video for each one to make it easier. But because I'm going to do this in one shot for you guys, um, that's the reason I'm doing this. All right. So, uh, here we go. It's going to be quick. Hellriders and action. Okay, let's talk about Hellriders real quick. Um, it's just a bad movie from the beginning. That actress in it, the main one, just horrible. Holy shit, she's bad. Um, it's a biker movie as Adam West. There's really not a lot that I can say about it. It's not good. Okay. She devils on wheels. And action. Okay, let's talk about She Devils on Wheels real quick. Um I wanted it to be good. I really did. It's another biker movie. Of course, it has <clears throat> female lead and all that. It's okay for what it is, but it's not anything special. Not anything I can suggest to anybody. You know what I mean? I just say skip it. Revenge, <clears throat> Revengeful Swordswoman, and action. Okay, let's talk about Revengeful <clears throat> Swordswoman real quick. Has okay um, fight scenes, too much verbal explanation, really. Watch it for the fight scenes. The rest of it's okay. It's not going to be anything that's going to change the world if you're a Kung Fu fan or anything like that. You know what I mean? But... The fights are good. The rest, eh, hit and miss. Okay, so I almost <laughs> turned it off, but that's not what I'm doing this time. So, do, do, do. all right. <clears throat> teenage gang dabs and action. Okay, let's talk about teenage gang dabs real quick. I wanted this movie to be better than what it is. It's black and white. Um, it's just. Yeah, I can't really recommend it. I love crime. I love old school black and white crime. Um, motorcycles again in this one, but not necessarily a straight up biker gang type thing. Kind of low. Um, yeah, just skip it. Okay, so. Big Bad Mama and action. Okay, let's talk about Big Bad Mama real quick. This is an old school movie. It's a crime movie. There's definitely some fun in it. It's a mother and her two daughters. And they go on a crime spree basically. So if that's not your kind of thing. I'd say pass this up. There are moments of sleaziness. Or almost sleaziness it seems. Um, this is a Roger Corman movie. So if you know anything about that. You know what I'm saying. You kind of know what to expect. But it's good for what it is. I would suggest it for at least a one time watch. If you're into this kind of thing. Okay, next. Uh, Revenge of the Iron Fist Maiden. And action. Okay, let's talk about Revenge of the Iron Fist Maiden real quick. It's decent fight-wise, you know. Um, no amazing ones, but some pretty fun ones here and there. She's badass, you know. Um... It's all right for what it is. I mean, it has bad dialogue for sure and too many close-ups, but a lot of movies have that, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? So just for that, I'd say kind of skip it. But if this is a movie or the kind of movie you want to see where it's like a female revenge type, yeah, check it out. Otherwise, skip it. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off again. King of Fists and Dollars and Action. All right, let's talk about King of Fists and Dollars real quick. This is a Kung Fu movie. It's more modern. It's, uh, it's all right. It's not any... Actually, it's not even more modern. It just has more of a modern kind of story to it, I guess you could say. But, eh, 
honestly, either way, it doesn't matter. I wasn't able to make it that far in, and I love Kung Fu stuff. So, if that tells you anything, yeah, i just say skip this. There's a lot of better ways you can spend your time. So, all right. Oh. <laughs> because I'm doing it different way than normal. Okay. The Great Okinawa Yakuza War and Action. All right, let's talk about the Great Okinawa Yakuza War. This is a crime movie. It's from Japan. It's from a time period of craziness, which would be the 70s, but kind of always over there to an extent. Really good movie. If you don't like Yakuza movies, I don't know what to tell you. There is some brutality in this for sure. There is some things that you might not want to see. If you like the more extreme end of things, the more crazy end of things to an extent, I would say that this would be the one to check out, or one of them anyway. It doesn't say it has Sunny Chiba in it, but it sure as hell looks like it. Let's just put it that way. All right. Female, <clears throat> Female Prisoner 701, Grudge Song, in action. Okay, let's talk about Female Prisoner 701, Grudge Song, real quick. Um, this is part of a four-film series. It is a little sleazy in parts, to say the least, and if you've seen the rest of these, or any of the rest of these, you know it's not going to be for the faint of heart. So, the level of violence and everything that can take place in these movies, I wouldn't suggest them to just anybody. Now, if you're okay with the boundaries being pushed, and... You know, I'd say give it a shot. It's a revenge series. And there has to be a reason she wants revenge. I'm going to go over this whole series later, but yeah. Beyond Outrage and action. Okay, let's talk about Beyond Outrage real quick. This is a Japanese movie. Deals with the Yakuza. It's part of a series. A series, I suggest the whole thing to be honest. Whole series is good. Um, the guy that made this movie, by that I mean wrote, directed, and starred in, um, is known to be a comedic actor and all that. But he nails it with this movie. It's um, there's really no bad place to start in this series, but I'd say start from the beginning, which isn't this one. But so great movie, really good Japanese crime, deals with the police as well. If that sounds like your thing and you haven't seen it, i definitely say check it out. Check out the whole series if you can. Murder Masters of Kung Fu. Alright, Murder Masters of Kung Fu in action. Let's talk about Murder Masters of Kung Fu real quick. Um, female red, it's decent. Okay, fight scenes. It's good for what it is, but I'm not going to suggest it. You know what I'm saying? There's better ones out there. For sure. This isn't one of the strongest, but if you just want one to see or something like that, this one's out there. You know what I mean. It's not the worst thing in the world, but they are definitely better. Okay. Uh, hatchet and action. Okay, let's talk about Hatchet real quick. This is a horror movie. It has actors that you will recognize, especially if you're in my age range, which is 30s to 40s, you know, uh, right in there. Um, it does have some gore and decent effects and stuff, but overall, I'd say it's completely skippable. Watch the beginning if you want, which isn't even that strong to start with, and then kind of shut it off. Okay. So, I think that is all of those for this. So, now, this is going to be the only edit in the, edit in the video. Because I'm going to change it to color to do these other videos real quick. And that will be part of this video as well. If I didn't have to shut off the camera to be able to switch it to a color, I wouldn't be shutting it off right now. So, here we go. Okay, um... Up next uh, is going to be more videos that are going to be going up on YouTube. Um, looks like I have one, two, three, four, six, right? Okay.
and at least one for on here which won't be part of this video i'll do that separate and just put it on here as a separate video okay mm. same thing though introduce clap go clap just so i know where to cut um okay outrage series and action all right let's talk about the outrage series real quick the japanese crime series it's really well done it's tough at points brutal at points if you know anything about yakuza movies you probably know that already um the acting in it is great the writing in it's great and honestly this is a series i pretty much can't talk up enough and a lot of crime fans that i know that have seen it they feel the same way it's one of the stronger ones out i love yakuza movies i love japanese crime movies especially from the 70s this is not from then this is definitely more recent but really damn good, and one that I really can't suggest highly enough. You know what I mean? So, there you go. Yakuza movies and action. Alright. This is bare bones look at Yakuza movies. Um, A lot of them, especially from the 70s, are going to be pretty brutal. Don't expect a lot of guns. Some are going to have guns in them, but it's going to be more knives and pipes and stuff like that. Um, more of that kind of brutality. There are ones that take it pretty far. Uh, one that I just did a video for earlier today. Actually, it's, uh, let me see. What's the Okinawa one? Yeah, the great Okinawa <clears throat> Yakuza War. That one has some brutal parts in it. does have some gunplay as well, but... They aren't going to be like American crime movies. They are to an extent, but the extent of violence and depravity in these movies usually goes beyond. Not always, okay? But beyond what you see in American crime movies. Um, you see stuff kind of hidden out and all that. But in this one, and this one, in this genre, it can definitely be crazier than what you would get over here. They put out movies that make The Godfather look like it was made for children, which to me pretty much was. You know, um, it's like an introduction to mob stuff. So, but uh, honestly, you're going to get some strong characters, some brash characters in there. You're definitely going to get reasons for violence. You're definitely going to get points of violence, you know, and that's all part for the course. Um, definitely some cops and most of them as well because what good is a criminal movie without police, right? But uh, this is one that I think a lot of people kind of miss out on because they don't like subtitles or dubs. And I'd honestly say even if you don't like that aspect of it, still give it a shot. If you're into crime, yeah. And you aren't watching the Japanese stuff, you're really slipping up. Uh, okay, that one's for here, so skip that for now. Strong female leads and action. All right, let's talk about strong female leads in movies real quick. Um, Now, how Hollywood's doing strong female leads nowadays isn't strong because they just, not just females, but characters in general, okay? They make it to where they're pretty much perfect from the get-go, so they have nothing to overcome. It's Superman syndrome, you know, so... It is what it is, but look at Pam Greer, for example, okay? She was strong, she was tough, she was self-possessed, but she'd get in to situations. I mean, of course you knew she was going to win, it was Pam Greer, but um, she'd get in uh, really bad situations and have to fight her way through it. And that's where the strength comes from. Strength is not having everything set right away and you can overcome things just by barely trying there has to be some kind of struggle to it and movies in the 70s nailed this um for sure some in the 80s as well but in more recent days they haven't i mean look at any female revenge movie whether it be from china japan anywhere in the world especially uh, decades ago, even from America decades ago, the things that they had to overcome, Miss 45, for example, um, 
that one I know isn't going to be for everybody, and I'm not saying it should be, but that or um, the Female Prisoner 701 series from Japan, or I know you guys aren't going to like this one either. Um, what was it? I Spit on Your Grave, but you know what I'm saying? Like, those are extreme, extreme, extreme cases, of course, but it's still bad things happening that strength to overcome it, face it. Even Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween. Um, so good in that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, strong female leads can be done in different ways. They can have different kinds of strengths, but they can't just be strong the whole time. There has to be something that they have to overcome. And, you know, that's really what it, <clears throat> what it is. And I don't know why people don't get that. Like, not that the viewers don't get it, but the people making the movies don't get it anymore. And I'm not complaining about, you know, it just being women. It's with men in movies, too. It's the same thing, you know. So, who knows? Maybe we'll get a return to the good shit soon enough, but... <laughs> I don't see it in the cards yet, unless it's from Independence or, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. Female Prisoner 701. Series explanation. And action. Okay, let's talk about Female Prisoner 701 real quick. The movie series. It's Japanese. It is a revenge series. And it's not going to be for the week of heart, okay? If you can't deal with really harsh subjects, to say the least, really harsh visuals, stuff that will make you uncomfortable, skip this. Because you aren't going to make it to the first one. Alright? That's a guarantee. Now, if you think you have a strong stomach, you can deal with very horrible things happening to this woman. You know, reasons for her to want revenge. Then, you know, if you're okay with that, check this out. But if you don't think you have the stomach for it, pass it. You've been warned. This series needs a warning, okay? So, I say if you're into this kind of thing, check it out. But if not, avoid it with the plague. Okay, so... The rest are for on um, here. So I will do that editing video um, here in a minute. As well. Get the list together. All right. Thanks for stopping by.